hello everyone this is my 40 second video in react series in our previous video we have seen how to handle multiple fields in form and also how to validate this one okay basic validation we have done and we have seen this how it is working if i just give here some name i'll give some name here i'll be giving here ria here i'll give some random mobile number email i'll give ria at gmail.com and password i'll give some qwerty once i click on submit you can see entire data whatever i wrote that is being displayed here okay ria and the mobile number password and also email okay this is how we are going to fill all the data if i just click on submit without filling the fields if i click on submit i will be getting this please fill all the fields we just created this simple basic form and we understood the concept how to use use states how to use this placeholder how to use this value uh, we have seen many things in this okay we have seen this basic validation and also for each input field we have created the state and this state we have created to store the values if i enter name inside input field then inside this one it will be stored if i enter mobile number it will be stored it, if i enter email it will be stored and once i click on submit all the data will be displayed but here if you see here i have this input fields i have the set password set email i am having so many states here now suppose in future i want like i want degree input field degree i want again i'll copy i'll paste this one again i have to create new state for degree and here inside this again i have to check i have to empty this value suppose i want degree field i want address field i want state pin if i want multiple fields then i can't be creating multiple states like this okay it's not possible at all so here we are going to reduce the code and now we will see instead of writing this multiple times using only one state how we can reduce our code whatever state i created for name mobile email and password i'm just going to remove this entire thing i'll just remove from here okay now here i'll keep only one state and here i'm having this new entry set new entry and inside this i'm just going to remove this now instead of this array i'll be passing here object now inside this object i'll be adding name i'll be adding email mobile and password now here i'll just give here property as my name okay to understand this one you have to see the previous video so that you will get hands on practice on this what we are doing i'll be giving empty value next i'll be giving here email next i have mobile i'll just give here mobile finally i have password field okay inside this use state we have already seen how to pass object data how to pass array data and how to get this data instead of creating multiple states i am just creating only one state and inside this i am passing this object now this object whatever i have passed here that will be the initial data for this one okay for this variable and later on when we are going to update this then that updated data will be the initial data for this one and that data will be printed to me as my output now once we are done with this let me just remove this entire function i don't need this one and also from form i'll be removing this okay now once we use this object now here inside input fields i am going to create name attribute okay name attribute is very important and also from here on change i'm just going to remove this entire function i don't need this one let me just give here input data okay you can give any function name and the same function name i'm going to pass for all the fields i'll just paste that one here instead of this i'm just going to paste that and also from here i'm going to remove and paste and from here i'll be removing and pasting okay this is how we are going to work now i am having only one function okay only one event whenever i click on on change i am having this function and that function will be executed now here i'll copy this function and below this one okay below this state i'm just going to paste that one i'll just write here const function name and i'll be using fat arrow function now here inside this first i'm just going to write here e okay so that my form should not get submitted i'm just writing this event object and here i'll be writing e dot prevent default because whenever i click on submit i don't want my form should get submitted and i don't want to get empty values so i'm just giving this one e dot prevent default and this is going to prevent the form from submitting now we have this value attribute and instead of giving this my name now this is our variable which is having all the data which is having this current data initial data so objects we are going to pass now this is object so here i'll be writing my object name dot whatever property i want i want this property my name so i'll be writing like this object name dot okay we are going to access object using dot 
so I am just writing that one I will just copy this and here again I am going to paste dot object name dot property name again for password I will be pasting that object name dot password and for email object name dot email ok this is how inside value we are going to pass instead of directly passing the state variables whatever we created before I am just creating only one state variable I am just assigning its initial data as object so here I am just accessing that values object name dot property name that is my name object name dot mobile object name dot email and object name dot password whatever properties you have given here you are just accessing that one now once you update that one that data will be stored inside this one and that data will become the initial data for this variable and that will be accessed and that data will be printed to us and also here we are going to use name attribute using this name attribute we are going to access all the data now here whatever variable you are having my name I am just going to paste that one ok this is my name attribute and I have given the name as my name for this now in the same way I will be giving for mobile I will just give here name I will be writing here mobile and here I have email so I will just write that email and finally I have password so I will be writing password now once we are done with giving values once we are done with giving name attribute now here I have this function input data and this function is given to all the input fields ok inside input fields I am having this function and here I have defined that function input data and here I am just preventing the form from submitting now below this whatever name attribute I am having here I need that one now here I am just going to create one variable I will give my variable name as name and I want name attribute so whatever input field I am targeting I want that name attribute ok this is how we are going to write and also I want value so here I will be creating one variable value and whatever value I am having e dot target dot value ok I am just accessing the name and the value of that particular input field ok I am just creating separate variables for that name and value and I am just accessing I am accessing this name name attribute value and I am accessing whatever value I get after typing that I am accessing and here I am storing that variables that values inside this variables inside this name I am storing this my name and inside this value whatever data I enter that data will be stored inside this value variable now before that we, we have given this one this diff container to get the data below this one I am just going to remove this diff container this we did in our previous video as of now I do not need that one so I am just going to remove to prevent this error I will refresh this one now here I am having this output now once we are done with this we have given value attribute name attribute and also we have given this function we are getting all the name attributes and values whatever we get here whenever I add some data inside input fields I want that data should be updated now here what I am going to do is here I am just going to check some conditions I want to update this one ok this variable I will copy this one now whatever updation I do that will be the initial data for this one so now here I am just going to paste that one now inside this I will be adding here previous data now this now this parameter will be having all the data whatever I enter inside input fields suppose I enter name first name then last name then first name will be stored inside this one so I am just writing that one now here inside this I am just checking some conditions I will be writing here if my name attribute if it is equal to equal to my name ok whatever uh, name I have given here uh, whatever uh, value I have given here for name attribute I am just checking the condition if my name if it is equal to my name then I have to set this one then I have to set the data for this input field and here I am just going to return that one I just want to return that and inside this I will be writing this my name and here I want to set the value ok because this value whatever I enter here whatever I enter inside this input fields that data I am storing inside this variable and I am just assigning that variable to this variable now below this last name and email and password whatever I am having I want the previous data whatever previous data if I entered my name I want that one to be stored now here I am having mobile for mobile this data will be stored inside this I will copy this here I am going to paste dot mobile mobile data I need in the same way I have email I will be writing this previous data 
dot email then i have password colon previous data dot password okay we are just going to write like this we are just accessing all the previous data and we are storing in that variables now here first i am checking the condition for first name that is my name and if it matches i am just setting that value and rest all parameters you can just give like this now here i will be checking else i will just write here else if my name attribute if it is equal to equal to email now it is going to return and inside return i am just going to write the same thing i will copy this here i will be pasting that one and in only email i will be giving here value inside email whatever value i give that value i want to store and here i will be giving the same data previous data previous data dot my name okay only that particular field whatever you are checking the condition only for that field you have to give here value and rest all previous data dot particular variable name particular name okay in the same way again here i'll be checking the condition else if my name if it is equal to equal to password then here i just want to return something and inside return i'm just going to paste that one i'll just copy this entire thing and here i'll be pasting that one and instead of this one i'm just going to give here value only for password i'll be giving here value and for rest all this entire data whatever i'm having here previous data dot email or previous data dot name i'm just going to pass that one again here i'll be checking the condition else if my name if it is equal to equal to i am left with mobile it is going to return something i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste and only for mobile i'll be giving here and for rest i'm just going to remove and here i'll be giving this data i'll copy this for password i'll give and for mobile i'm just going to remove and here i'll just give value only for that variables only for that values i'm accessing and i'm storing inside that one i'll save this now i know it's very tricky it's very difficult to understand as a beginner but if you learn the concepts then we are in our next video we are going to reduce this entire code and we are just going to make in two lines but you have to understand this concept so that you will understand whatever we learn in the next chapters okay this is how we are going to write the code instead of creating separate states we are just creating one new state and inside this we are passing this object now this object will be the initial data for this one and whatever updation we do that will be stored here and that updated data will be the initial data for this one now here inside input fields i'm just passing one function whenever i click on input i'm just passing one function and here i'm just giving that function and i am just preventing the form from submitting here i'm just accessing the name whatever value i have given inside name i'm accessing that one i'm storing inside this variable i am accessing the value and i am storing inside this variable now here i am just updating that one and inside this i am passing one parameter and this parameter will be having all the previous data suppose if i have here i am having this multiple fields name mobile email and password now here i am entering name now second i'll enter mobile now this e name whatever i enter that will be stored then again if i enter email okay this name mobile number that will be stored and email will be stored later okay this is how we are going to get the data of this one now here if you just do console console dot log and inside this if you just pass this one i'll copy this here i'll paste i'll save this now here if i just inspect and if i show you the console you will see what is our previous data now here i'll just come to console and here we are having some warnings you can ignore that one as of now i'll just clear this now i'll be telling you what is previous data now inside this let me just write here k you can see this data is getting stored here i'll just write here k h a n a m okay you can see this is how this previous letters will be stored and we are going to get this output okay this entire thing is stored and we are having here khanam and again i'm just going to write here okay this is how it is going to work again if i just write here mobile some mobile number you can see mobile is getting stored an entire data of mobile will be stored again for email if i just give here for email it is going to store okay in the same way for password also it is going to store okay we are just storing all the data whatever we enter we are just storing that data inside this variable okay inside this parameter and we are just uh, 
accessing that one for all the data and we are writing we are storing that inside this variables okay basically we are just returning this one once this condition matches we are returning only that particular data value now once we are done with this uh, now here below this here i'll write one h1 and inside this whatever value i am having here for password i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste for password in the same way i'll just create for I'll just write here my name here I'll be writing email and here uh, I have mobile I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see whenever I write something here this is my name then I have this mobile number then I have this email and finally I'm having this password Okay, this is how we are going to get the input data and we are going to display that data when we click on submit button. Okay, this is how we are going to write the code. We don't have to create separate states. We don't have to create separate input event functions. So we are just reducing our code, but I know it's very lengthy as a beginner. If you are a beginner, maybe it's difficult to understand, but once you practice this one, then you will have more clear idea. But in our next video, we are going to reduce this code and we are just going to remove this entire thing and we will be reducing the code only in two lines only in two lines we are going to reduce the code before that you have to understand the concept of spread operator only then you will be able to convert this code into two lines of code okay spread operator i have already uploaded the video in this series itself if you want you can watch that one or you can explore youtube you will find tons of videos related to spread operator that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day